Hey, I'm Eric Rhodes from Fine Art Connoisseur, the publisher, and this is the editor, Peter Trippi. Uh, Peter and I are sitting here having a summer conversation on the porch, and we were kind of talking about a, a trip that we're going to be doing coming up this fall. And I thought maybe it would be a good idea to just shoot a little video and tell you a little bit about this trip because you might not know about it or you might not know the details. You might regret not coming. Um, Peter, how did this trip come about 10 years ago? How did, how did you envision this? Well, we together were thinking about all the places that we love to go in Europe uh, on our respective trips with our respective uh, families and, and companions, and uh, it's about access. It's about the idea that uh, when you have some link to the art world, you get a chance to see buildings that are famous or art collections that are well-known in a different way. Uh, that right. you're not just walking in as a tourist, you're going in with some sort of entree because the curator is waiting for you, or the director, or uh, some sort of local official. Uh, right. And that's something we treasure in these right. programs. So when we were brainstorming about this 10 years ago, Peter and I have been together now for 13 years. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, when we were brainstorming this concept, uh, we had been comparing some of the things that had happened to us when we would go to a city or go to a museum and the doors would open wide open for us. Uh, we had uh, so many great experiences and we thought, wouldn't it be nice to share this with other people? Uh, obviously we can't share it with everybody, but we, we put together a, a small group of people every year that we take usually to Europe. Um, and, and that group of people has to be small because we go to small places sometimes. For instance, we go to the homes of collectors or the homes of studios or restoration studios, things that we can't bring 200 people into. Uh, you know, it's sometimes even our small group of about 50 people we can't even bring them in all at one time, so sometimes we divide it up. Right. Exactly. And, and so uh, it's an opportunity to see the things that we, as the publisher and editor of the magazine, see. And and these are things that you will not experience on your own, even if you have the best tour guides and the best tour books. Uh, we're giving you access to um, some amazing things. So talk about a couple of the highlights uh, that we've sure. done over the past 10 years that have really struck you? Well, I mean, I have some very happy memories from this program, certainly, um, you know, going into San Marco in Venice and watching it go completely dark and then the lights being switched on one after another until the entire cathedral was illuminated was quite incredible. Uh, also in Italy, of course, the visit to the Sistine Chapel. Private, Rome, private, private, private. I mean, that just doesn't happen. You know, normally it's a zoo with many, many people, and in this case we had it to ourselves and we could actually look um, closely at the details without being pushed and jostled. So things like that are very meaningful to me uh, as an art historian. And I think everyone wants to feel that they're connecting with the art in a more direct way. And that's yeah. what we can deliver. A couple of my favorite things. Uh, twice now we've been able to take our group to the Hermitage in Russia, yeah. St. Petersburg, and had the entire museum to ourself. Uh, one security guard with us and we had access to the entire place after it was closed. And normally when you're there, especially in the summer or the fall, there's 5,000 people in front of every painting and you, you can't see them. So this is, this is a rich experience, of course. Uh, we've had uh, time with curators or time with special people who are explaining things that are going on, which has been marvelous. One of my other favorites was going to the home of Alphonse Mucha yes. to his daughter-in-law who was in her 90s and uh, showed her personal uh, family collection of Mucha paintings to us that were uh, Mucha's treasures, uh, the family paintings that typically don't go on display in museums. I thought that was wonderful. It was incredible to have that door unlocked right there facing Prague Castle. No one else could go in, so we like that experience. So tell us about the trip that we're doing uh, this October. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to be uh, four nights in Les Beaux de Provence, uh, which is near Saint-Rémy in the heart of the a uh, very beautiful Provençal region. Uh, and then we move on for four nights in Nice at the famous Hotel Negresco facing the Mediterranean. Uh, basically, it's the two sides of Provence. Uh, it's a huge region, so we're going to see the western side first, which contains such incredible cities as Avignon with the Papal Palace, Arles, where Van Gogh lived, uh, and also uh, looking at this incredible quarry, uh, which was uh, used for um, marble quarrying 
and is now uh, converted into a sound and light show uh, devoted to Van Gogh, who was a local hero. It's an amazing sensory experience. So if I'm watching this, I'm thinking, well, I can go to Provence on my own. I can go to, to France. I've been to France many times. Why go with fine art connoisseur? Well, first of all, we set things up with some readings ahead of time. We let people know what they might want to be looking at in books and magazines before they travel. Uh, and then I give lectures at the beginning of each unit of the program to set up the stage, so to speak, with history and geography and letting people know that there's a context for what we're about to see. And the actual visits are curated in the sense that we are lining up the uh, sites in a particular order and we're working closely with the uh, French-born English-speaking guides that we hire individually uh, so that they know what's going on. Uh, they attend my lectures and then we riff off of each other as we travel so that there's a kind of synergy mm -hmm. and a flow. Uh, everyone understands what's happening each day. Um, and then, of course, as you said, we have hosts at certain sites where they're welcoming us in a special way that wouldn't happen with a normal tourist. Right. I remember one time we went to the Van Gogh Museum when we were in Amsterdam and uh, we, we went behind the scenes. We were in the conference room with the two top directors of the museum and, and telling us the stories that nobody ever really gets to hear. And, and telling us about things coming up in the future, yes. uh, which was interesting so we yeah. could plan return visits. So um, I think that idea of access is special. And, you know, this is about kindred spirits. I mean, everyone in the room loves art. Right. And we're just coming at it from different perspectives. Now, this is not a trip for artists necessarily. This is a trip for people who love art or collect art. And I think one of the other benefits that, that really is was an unexpected benefit is that we've become this family. Yeah. We have reconnected now. Uh, this will be our 10th year. Uh, of course, we're going to do some special things because it's our 10th year. But uh, people come back year after year, whatever they possibly can, unless they have family issues. Mm -hmm. And people get integrated into this family very rapidly. Very quickly. I think that has struck me uh, that someone new who has never been on one of these trips feels like family by the end of the second day. Uh, and that is unusual in the world of travel, that often there's a distance, but everyone is welcoming, uh, including the staff, of course, but even the repeat visitors really work extra hard to make everyone new feel welcome. So yeah. that's a joy. Yeah, and then those of us who are painters, oftentimes during shopping breaks or whatever, we'll sneak off and do a painting. And I'm taking a small group to St. Paul de Vence, uh, a beautiful little village uh, in, in the south of France. Mm -hmm. And we're going to paint there for a couple of days before we join up with the group and right. then go on our, our grand tour. Right. And then talk to me about Scotland, because we're going to Scotland after France for those who want to join the post-trip. That's right. So just to be clear, uh, the second half of the French experience will be in Nice, as I said before. And in fact, we will return to St. Paul de Vence to see that amazing town for those who work with you on the painting pre-trip. Uh, we're also going to go to some magnificent villas on the French Riviera, facing the sea, uh, and of course to Nice itself, which has those marvelous museums devoted to Matisse and Chagall. So that'll be a joy to be on that side of the region. Coming back to your point about Scotland, uh, we're flying non-stop, if you can believe it, from Nice to Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Um, it's a dream come true that there is a non-stop flight, so we don't have to worry about connections. Uh, and we will be picked up at the airport and go right to the Balmoral Hotel, which is right in the heart of Edinburgh, overlooking the old city. Uh, we will spend four nights there, um, and that is optional, but of course it's already heavily subscribed and we want more people to come if they can. Scotland is a joy. In October it's actually very comfortable uh, and it is such an easy walking city. So we'll be uh, a fair amount on foot uh, mm -hmm. because we're right in the heart of things. Right. And of course it's well known for not only its castle on the hill uh, and the palace where the Queen resides in the summer, uh, but also uh, the National Gallery, which is one of the great collections and not much known in the United States. So I think we'll have fun there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, anyway, thanks for uh, enduring our, our little pitch about our program. Uh, it's, it's really a delightful program. Uh, this being the 10th year will be even more special than normal. And for those of you who have been to France, this is totally different. And we hear this every year. We have people who say, well, I'm on the fence about going. I'm not sure I'm going to go because I've been there already. I've seen that town. And then they come with us and they say, well, I, I saw things I never saw before. I, I experienced it in a completely different way. And so we hope you'll join us. You can learn more about it at finearttrip.com. Thank you for spending time with us.
Thank you.